we are talking about the promotion we're doing for the unclaimed financial assets authority let me just run you through one fact they are currently holding listen to this unclaimed cash valued at 16.1 billion have you heard that figure molim 61 61 16.1 billion that's the cash that they're holding cash for ifari they've also got unclaimed dividends shares dormant bank accounts life insurance policies they've got 1546 safe deposit boxes and listen to this 800 million units of shares unclaimed that no one knows who they belong to Oma, their names are there but they've got no way of getting in touch with you which brings us to our morning conversation and this one i want to address it to the guys do your wives know where your things are does your wife know where all your money is am i gonna die here like a man and leave them struggling and suffering seriously you know it is a very difficult question no it must be answered we can't have people holding 16.1 billion shillings in cash. No, Jack, properties. No. Na kumbe ni nyingi zaidi hiyo. And this is all from that thing of not telling your wife what you have. What you should be asking is kwa nini wanaume hawasemi kila kitu? Why don't you? Yeah. What did they Don't see? Don't say kill it's just prudence. <laughs> what examples did they see after declaring everything? You know, you need also to know where they're coming from. Because those are men. Isn't it prudent of you <laughs> to inform your spouse <laughs> where all your wealth is? document <laughs> Wewe mambo yako itaisha polepole pole na ile dawa ya panya. Pole pole. That's what they fear. That's what that's Hold on. Do you, do you honestly think your wife will kill you? Ai, kuna kuna card unafaa no, kuna back because th that raises another question. Let us listen to this man. Aye. Does that mean you actually think that if you tell your wife where all your things are she's going to kill you? Hmm. Then why don't you tell her? What? Where every, everything of yours is. Kuna zile wanajuaga. Kuna moja. No, then why don't you tell her where everything is? Ai we, kuna card hata <laughs> ukicheza <laughs> kuna mpoka kuna card ya joka unabaki nayo. We. Aki Kenya no men. On a serious note. Seriously. What is this example wa legionnaire? So many men have seen those examples. You declare everything. Declare kama muindi. Hmm? <laughs> if you tell her she's going to kill you are you listening to this madness she that as your hero she that ni umesema kila kitu eh. na sisi unajua saa ingine shaitani makosa zikosi mahali so then what is she gonna do At what is she going to do about eh. it eh. Hai. no what is she going to do so you tell me utajule huko mbeleni tutasomewa I cannot believe what you've just said. Aye, where? So Mwangeli does not know where everything you own is. Wachana na mimi. Mimi nimekupatia. That is so tragic. Nimekupatia example. Na nika kuambia you need to ask yourself where are men coming from? Why are they Okay, okay guys, let me let me rephrase the question. Yes, please. Why don't you tell your women where your things are? What are you afraid of? We tell them not everything, like in a... No, everything, full disclosure. Ah, ah, well. Dio nakuliza useme ulize hiyo kwa ninini liwafanya wafikia hapo. You know you're not asking. Okay, what is it about her that makes you not tell her everything? Is that a better question? Eh, eh where did they ni waliji so you know they must have you seen an question. You asked the question. Eh, eh, example, si umemejionea example. 
People die here, Maina. People die. Huh? People have died. Ha! <laughs> Why? People have died. Ladies, can you believe your ears? Hmm. And if they tell you everything, you'll kill oh, them. People have disappeared. Guy, oh seven one one zero four six one zero five is my number. Let's talk. What wa me kwa mawe kwa mugu wa karuzo kwa dam na wakapotea. Mugile kwa sewage. You know you are behaving as if you have never heard these stories, eh? Let me ask you. Do you eh? think you live with armed robbers? Is that what you're calling your women? What? This example na zoni mingi. Ladies, can you believe this? These examples this? are many. Unless he, there are many. Atutu mefungi wa mawe kwa migu wa narushu wa ndani ya sewage. Wadam. Unapotea kabisa. Unapolewa huko na makengani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never even imagined that. You know, you have behaved as if, au kuona hata sewage. Sewage, shift tanks, zina ito hivyo. Huh? Na unapotea. Na ulipotea. Na watu wenyu hata wajui. Wewe ulipotea. Hivyo yotu. Hi, the examples in Mazidi Maina. Give me a call, 0711046105. For that money to remain hapo, huh? at unclaimed financial assets. Ha! You never could you lose that. 16.1 no. billion in cash. You need to ask, where is the fear coming from? Where is that fear? Actually, that's a question. Where is the fear? Okay, wait, from? Look, guys, where is the fear of yeah. telling her? Who is the fear? 800 million ah. units of shares. Ah, 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 ah. Kenyan men, really? Ah. Where? Where, where, where? Hit me up on social media on my ha. fan page on Facebook. My Twitter handles at It's My Neck Again. Mm. Or at Classic 105 Kenya. You've got the hashtag mm. Mina and Kingangi. Ninini <laughs> unaogopa as a Kenyan man. <laughs> Let's talk. Talking about the Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority. They are holding in cash. 16.1 billion shillings unclaimed people who died and left all this money they've got unclaimed dividends shares wages dormant bank accounts life insurance policies they've got more than 1500 safe deposit boxes with them unclaimed and over 800 million units of shares crazy why aren't you telling your women where your money is, guys? Seriously. Mulim we say and ask them why they don't. There's something they have learned. What is it that you fear? What is it that you fear? What has she done to make you fear? Victoria, let me just go to your tweets because this doesn't doesn't make sense. Victoria is saying they don't tell their financial worth due to lack of trust and the thought of their money being misused. Some clean women getting marriage for money and to gain property. Kenny Elder, good morning. You're saying famous quote, as a leader, don't let people know too much about you or else there goes your authority. You will stay at home the whole day with her, but she'll still ask, hiding one card is important. Regina names you're saying men are very hard to understand. Now when that cash in UFAA just goes to waste, Zina Saidia Nani, let your family live well even after you're gone. Tujulisheni malizenu penye ziko zote. Jeres Nyakago, good morning, abari ya KC. You're saying, unataka tuuliwe. I'd rather tell my mom. Monome ya peyani siri hivyo, ovyo ovyo as you think. What are you fearing? General Drew the drama, good morning, you said, Mena, you live with a partner who's working and even earning more than you, but you'll never see her money. Why would any man tell such a person about his wealth? Furthermore, sharing such information might shorten your lifespan. Emmanuel Kipsang, Kipsang, you've got a question saying, are there women who also die without telling their men about their assets? Where is this take, taking us? Hello? Morning, Maina. Morning. Sasa Maina. Hmm. Wacha tu tuwande kesho. Eh. Kuwaonyesha. Eh. By next month. Eh. Itabidi maraga fungue koti zote hata kama kuna korona. 
<laughs> na zile kesi zitakuwa zinaendelea zote zitakuwa za divorce onyesha tu moja mbili uone vile kesi za divorce zitakuwa na waanza kusema tunagawana mali hawa watu wetu ni wazuri tu wakati tunaishi nao lakini ukifika kumpanda wa mali eh watakunya watakunyanganya yote na mutagawana katikati na aende na atafute kale ta young boy waanze kuhishe na hako wakikula hiyo mali kwa sababu wanaona sa hizo wewe wamekipaya kabisa kukiza kitu muhimu chenye anapata haka kwako ni hiyo mali peke yake na wanasemba tugawane katikati hatu unajua maina watu wengi sana sa hiyo ukiuliza watu wengi hata kama wakona mare gisachusu kete ya wana kwa sababu wakati u divorce inafika wakikuta kweli mkona ayo na kuambiu upendu usipende mutagawane hawa alikupata na ayo hawa uwe ulimulitafuta mkiwa na yeye mutagawana katikati upende usipende okay. sasa ndi inafika mahali watu wanaficha siku penda kwao siku penda kwa wanaume tawadhali sawa haya hello class 105 hello maina morning i really agree with kinani myself eh uh. kinani shwaran sawa i don't mention the name eh uh. and i've seen uh, i've met a lady eh uh. Uh, whom I uh, whom I guided her that I told her the the, the money for your husband yeah has been elected to unclaim financial asset authority yeah I did proceed to them to and, them and uh, you follow the yes to them so that you can guide so you they can guide you how you can access your money yeah your husband because she was the beneficiary yeah do you know she realized that the husband had uh, almost like six policies yeah. six, uh, six um, financial policies from different insurance po- uh, companies yeah. amounting to almost 16 million the lady akaniambia ata naishingi kwa a single room haya because he doesn't know whatever the husband was when he was alive yeah he was giving a story that the husband was just waking up in the morning anaenda kazi but she didn't know the husband had a lot when she went to ufa she was told your husband uh, is having uh, a, a lot of policies here from different companies can they go and get a demand letter from them and the amount is amounting to 66 million the lady almost fainted Kai. that is it okay thank you for sharing yeah. that story what is this Aki ladies and you're there suffering suffering as you got all this money when he's alive Me, man, no, me, I can kill someone. Where is this mistrust coming from, guys? And ladies, can you believe your men don't trust you to that level? Hey? Where is it that Kenyan men don't tell their women where their properties are? William Jaroge said, Mena, why should we tell her where all my properties in total are? Do we tell our money where our houses, plots, and other assets are? If not, her being my property, just like the rest, why should I tell her where her relatives are? Hey, guy. Jackson Kibuchi. You see, by the way, how come when registering for M-Pesa, we never asked for the next of kin? How much money is lost through M-Pesa? What can I say, men, especially from Kabete, to me on Yeshua Kanyoni, Wangethe, <laughs> Wangethe by our women, Wanangojea to Jenge flats and invest, then they send us to our graves, Mapema, Wanacho Wakiponda Malietu with impunity. After the devil fear Kabete women. Kanga Justin Kanga is in opening up on your true financial state is like setting free the trap in your own neck. Let me say, watch a yende even if it goes to the government eventually. Morning, Koi Koi Nange. I'm seeing your messages right now. Very good morning to you, darling. You see, this is nothing but pure greed. And I agree with you, Koi. It's absolute greed. Enjoy cooking for the nation, Koi. Sante. Why are we like this? The UFAA is holding 16.1 billion in cash, more than 800 million units of shares. 
This is just the tip of the iceberg. So what's not going on here? Hello, Maina. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. Was the story in Achoma? Kwanini? I mean, my house and my wife is here. <laughs> hey. You should see how she's looking at me. <laughs> so let me ask you. Yes, please. Have you had that conversation with her? We were listening to you and this, this lady was just called about the guy who was passed on and the wife found uh, some six policies. Yes. And then she's here, she's like, you see? You see? Ako hapa. Mi mna choma bana. And let me tell you, Maina. Eh. That aside. Last week, some friends of mine eh. went to bury a, a guy who had passed on. Yeah. He had a wife, a first wife, with mm. whom they had parted. Yeah. And the wife had deserted him with their first kid. Those are like six years ago. Yeah. So he had married a second wife. Yeah. The second wife. Yeah. The second wife, yeah. wife had taken in the kid of the first wife for six years. Yeah. And they have two other kids with his new wife now. Yeah. But when this guy died because he was hit by a matatu. Yeah. And because there's a possibility, not even a surety, that this guy might be cause compensated by the insurance. Mm. You know, the first wife is back. She's back. She's back and she says she doesn't recognize the second wife who has been, who has been uh, taking care of the kid she deserted for the last six years. Digiviai, this will should not be entertained. So, Keep it a secret, ukikufa, mungu ataokole ukombele. So you would not tell your wife where all your things are? I would not, and she's here, she can hear me. She can hear you saying, I cannot, you, I, you cannot tell her. She's here, Maina. It's hey. not a secret. Eh. Hey. Yeah. Because these people, eh, hey. They are here purely for what you have. They are kama huyu nakwambia alirudi after 6 years. Because this guy has died eh. and he's going to be compensated by insurance. You require a vehicle on any road accident. What's that minor? So women are there purely because of what you've got in your pocket. Because of what you've got in your pocket. And your woman is sitting there listening to you saying that to me. Yes. Yes, Maina. And you feel nothing? Why should I? So you, you're going to die, Mungo Tawaokoa, Ukienda. I'll reveal the little that I feel they deserve, she deserves. Eh. In, why, are you, why are you sure that I'll die first? <laughs> okay, that's a good question. That's why a good, are you sure? That's a good question. Why is it like you know I'll die first? Okay. Nobody knows. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very guy. Guy. Igua. Talk to a brother. Question though, it's all about letting your women know where your properties are and your wealth. Even if you're not wealthy, let her know in this account I've got forty G's. In this account I've got a hundred G's. It's incredible what I'm hearing this morning. As for the previous caller, whose wife was sitting next to him and he's telling me all those things. Ma? Hey. Bell and Dish, well, like what you've said via Twitter, you're saying, study my intentions. If I'm not good, then let your kids deserve it. Let them have the happiness. What do you mean you'd rather die and then mungu atawasaidia ukombele? What is that? And Bella, you continue. That same woman is taking care of your kids. She's taking care of you. Why rob her of the happiness that she deserves? It's been an incredible morning, and I hope there's some lessons that have been learned. Hello. Hello, Morning. Okay. Mm. That is like playing around your own grave. 
that is like playing around with your own grief. Yes. In fact, most of them are kia ukona mali nini nini wanazanga kuwa na jizikani mingi sana. Ndiyo maana most of the time we see a mutu amepatikana kwa forest fulani amekufa just because they want to remain with your wealth. So to me, eh, kiwezi ambia mutu mali yangu. Wacha tukule ile kidogo yuko pale lakini the rest, hiyo itakuwa ya familia yangu lakini to my wife that is never happen na hivyo nikikwambia pia najua mali yako anasikiliza kwa kwa na five kwa hivyo atayo message itamfikia itamfikia ya itamfikia my god okay what is wrong guys hello maina mambo mpoa kabisa i had a colleague eh mm. former work who passed on eh yeah and uh before he passed on like two years back eh yeah alishi kuniambia atakuja dosa hizo ngongo na huko barabara ile line ya susu na huko eh yeah tell me alinunua shamba huko like six acres eh yeah so he used to tell me every time nitakuja hii weekend nimeenda nikuonyeshe yeah but he passed on kabla hajakuja kunionyesha yeah and the same year alikufa alikufa the same year alipata the first born the first born was born like april akakufa kama october yeah and family ile yao ilihara sule madam sana he was, she was a young a young girl eh? yeah and uh, like kind of she she was disowned and akafukuzwa ikakuwa sasa ni kesi hello i can hear you ikakuwa ni kesi eh yeah and it took time kabla hiyo kesi ishe eh? yeah so ile kitu mimi huduma ni kwamba i never even mentioned about that land kwa huyu madam eh yeah kwa sababu hata singe locate in fact nikumweka uchungu zaidi yeah and i believe today even the family does not know where that, that land is sababu ilikuwa shamba mpya yeah six acres yeah it is not helping the son but the money is gone yeah mimi ikanifunza hiyo mambo ya siri siri mimi sitaki yeah and i always even tell people hii maisha unafaa kukubali hii ni stage ya basi basi yako ikifika utaenda whether you like it or not that's true na mali ya dunia ni ya dunia yeah na heri mali yako isaidie huyo mke wako mbaya ama mtoto wako mbaya kuliko ianze kusaidia serikali amen mimi mambo ya siri sitaki i always tell my wife ukitaka kuliwa hiyo ni shauri yako but mimi sita kubali watoto wangu wakuja kupata shida kama siko na nilifanya jasho hiyo kesi ya huyo jamaa mwenzangu ilinifunza sana good mimi mambo ya siri sitaki i always put everything on the table na mwambia hivi na hivi kama niko na policy nasema pesa yangu ya sapo ni hii kila kitu yangu they know everything mimi sifichi hata pin yangu ya mpesa they know